The government of St. Lucia remains concerned about the increase in COVID-19 cases as St. Lucia battles its fourth wave of the virus. New protocols and measures have been announced, all with a view of reducing the country's active cases. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip J. Pierre during a situation update to the nation explained that the government, cognizant of the challenges faced by the public, especially during these unprecedented times, is embarking on a number of initiatives aimed at providing relief to those affected. Our frontline workers have worked incessantly in the fight against the dreaded pandemic. We have heeded the requests of many frontline workers and as a token of appreciation, government has decided to extend the existing concessions for one year for the purchase of motor vehicles. We understand the economic plight of bar owners, minibus operators and restaurant owners. The government will seek loan financing to provide the promised income support to minibus operators. It will also provide some form of income support to licensed bar owners to alleviate the loss of income to themselves and their families. Restaurant owners and their staff alike have experienced difficulties with the halting of in-house dining. Cabinet has decided that if, the mission, that if the permission of the Ministry of Health, approved restaurants will be allowed in-house luncheon and dining to facilitate vaccinated patrons only. Vaccinated patrons only. In, co in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, we will continue to monitor the situation to relax the protocols and restrictions when the situation regarding infections reaches an acceptable level. Due to already mounting financial constraints, the Prime Minister explained that a complete lockdown is a very unlikely option in the government's arsenal to control the spread of COVID-19. Instead, the government has taken other measures to ensure the health and safety of the public. We protected the health of our police by adding a ticketing option to the available measures for the enforcement of COVID-19 protocols. However, the original enforcement measures were still available but unenforceable since the government had demolished the custody suites. Hence, there was limited space to detain offenders if detention was required. We have increased the medical and ancillary staff at the Victoria Respiratory Hospital and with the assistance of FLO, installed an improved communication system to allow easier contact between medical staff and patients and patients with relatives. The home monitoring team has been strengthened and we further intend to increase the numbers on that team. COVID-19 testing has increased. The daily number of COVID tests conducted at the Ezra Long Laboratory has increased from an average of 187 tests between April and July to a daily average of 297 tests for the week ending 19 September. The Ministry of Health has increased vaccine availability and access. Public education on vaccinations will continue to be intensified. The government of St. Lucia will continue to monitor the COVID-19 situation on island so as to respond appropriately to changes which may occur.